Samuel Smith. He could barely hold his sword straight. More sail! All sail! Ready, boys? It's a damn tough life for the toil and strife. We will burn on the go. We don't give a damn when the gale has stopped How hard the wind is up We're homeward bound Sir, just visiting. My sister lives here. Only a few days. Please wait here. So many soldiers posted. Is all this to protect the politicians? Indeed. You're here. The Congress is still in session. George Washington and his militia have fired on French troops under Jumonville. The French are calling it an act of war. George Washington. You mean Lawrence's younger brother? Yeah, it's the same. I'm speaking of Lawrence Washington. And you eliminated him. James Wardrop has moved up in ranks. All the Templar resources are at his disposal now. What about the manuscript? My sources in New York confirm that Wardrop has it. I also learned that he is here at the Congress under heavy guard. Shay, find Wardrobe. Get that manuscript. This place is thick with Templar troops. Liam and I will make sure he doesn't escape. Who's he? Well, he's a trader and was colonel of the warriors of the Six Nations for a while. He's responsible for the New York levies now, I think. He also has lands and trade posts.
she looked a complete cow. But then she always did like her Now she's mad at the complexion. Ah, that must be the Templar William Johnson. Perhaps he has the manuscript or knows where it is. As I have stated previously, I believe we need a national union, granted by an act of parliament, but bringing greater independence to our colonies. The French are an immediate threat, and we are ill prepared to face them. To put it bluntly, the colonies must join or die. Rousing speech, Master Franklin. But do you truly believe Great Britain will grant our colonies autonomy? They have little choice, Master Johnson. You know the remoteness of this frontier better than most. Yes. But let us leave politics for another day. I wanted to thank you for your research. Of course. Of course. In the brief time I could examine that box, I could tell it was something unique. From ancient Egypt, you said? Well, as I mentioned in my letter, I am quite ready to electrify it. Excellent. We will have the box delivered shortly. As for the manuscript... Captain? I apologize, sir. But Master Wardrop refused to hand it over. He said the risks were too great. The risks? Ah. I apologize. You will have the manuscript and the box in the briefest of delays. You mind the excuse for a uniform? Run to Fort Frederick and tell Master Wardrop he had better cough up the manuscript post-haste. Else I will have him scalped. Can't let that lobster captain reach Wardrop.
I'll take that. You Templar dog. No! You have no idea what you're doing, fool! Keeping the people free from your control. How free will you be when the French undermine these squabbling colonies? These colonies would be far better off without the Templars pulling the strings. <laughs> we bring order from chaos. If everything is permitted, no one is safe. Even the devil can quote scripture to suit his own purposes. Keep it inside! 